Oi! Good day and welcome. This is Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Game that popped up all of a sudden for on Steam. All of a sudden for me, I didn't know it was coming out. You remember the the other game, the first game came out not too long ago, in August, if I'm not mistaken, late August, I think. So this is only two months ago, a little over two months ago. Uh, I haven't played much of this. Only the first five seconds of this or so, because I just wanted to make sure it was recording. So bear with me. I haven't read the strategy guide, obviously. I don't even know there is a strategy guide. There probably is one already. People are pretty quick at those things. So bear with me. I'm probably going to suck at it. I have played the first game a little bit, and i watched people play it. So let's get right into this. Help Wanted. Grand reopening. Vinci's Pizzeria. Given new life. Come be part of the new faz face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. What could go wrong? Hundred decimal fifty a week. I'm not sure I got under more than hundred and fifty a week last time. Though I could be wrong. Why? Okay, looks the same. Hello. 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 Dude. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Hmm. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything Flashlight. you may have heard about the old locations, you know. I mean, there's hell on hers. a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fadbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> that means. What the hell is that thing? Most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Oh, that's uh, uh, now that being said, body. no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished what the we hell? complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters oh, to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode, so when it gets quiet, yeah, sure. they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Great. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize what? counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does. Oh, great. Thanks. 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 Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into a suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Well, oh great. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Great. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> what? Uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the Freddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, that's what that means. What? No doors? Couldn't they put a freaking door in here? Okay, top priority. Keep this freaking thing going. Oh, I hear a noise. Uh, um. Oh, that thing looks creepy as hell. Look at them. Balloons. 
Oh, Bonnie's out. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. No! Oh, there's one moving around. This music box is going to be a pain in the arse. Oh, okay, Bonnie's. Um. Hi. Hi. Go. Oh, she got on already. Um, where is she? Crap, crap. God, the pictures even look terrifying. Uh, um, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> crap, crap. Oh, does that mean another one's gone? No. Oh, hey, Bonnie. Um, oh, she, oh, shit. She's coming in vents. Stay out of those. Stay out. Stay there, stay there, stay there. This music box is a pain in the bum. What's he got? Oh, she's in the vent. She's in the vent. Ooh. Um. No, no, no. I'm gonna die horribly. Horribly, bleep, bleep, bleep. Stay there, stay there, stay there, you little prick. You better stay there. No. I gotta stop doing that, that's terrifying. That doesn't freak me to crap out. And of course, I am playing in the middle of the night with the light off, as you can see. Are you gone? Yes, you are. Yay. Where did you go? Where did you go? Bonnie, where are you? Oh. Ah. I don't even want to know what happens. Well, that thing's not winding up. Ah. Fuck. Ah. She must have been right in front of me. She had to be right in front of me. Where else could she be? Oh. That wouldn't seem too bad though. It seemed like I made it up to 5 a.m. Let's try this again. Whew. I got my heart racing. <laughs> I might not be showing it, but man. Whew. It's kind of hot in here too. Whew. Away. Hmm. So that's old Bonnie. And it looks like uh Fazbear's head there. And I guess that's Chica. Looking ever so terrifying. Everything in this place looks terrifying. Why would you bring your kids here? What does that noise mean? Oh, is this that room? Chica, are you still here, Chica? Yep. And they got Chica looking more feminine now. Oh, Bonnie's a girl too? I had no idea. Whew. Calm before the storm. Oh! Jeez, that thing is terrifying. They couldn't afford a door. At least take a four lights this time. I wonder what the point of the flashlight is. I 
Man, I really don't like that noise. <laughs> oh god, I gotta use the flashlight less. I'm already down one bar. Crap. And buddy's probably not even stopped talking yet. They couldn't put me in a room with a door. Okay, yeah, so stop talking yet. Because I muted it, because I didn't want to listen to it the second time. This makes it even more terrifying. Couldn't give me a desk lamp? Does this shine in that direction? Okay, you stop talking now. So that means that. They'll come out now. We couldn't. Bonnie's out. Bonnie's out. Where is Bonnie? Here, yeah, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Bonnie. There you are. Stay there. Where's Bunny? She's still there. Still there. Man. Other dollars an hour. Other dollars a week for, what is it? Six nights? Five nights at Freddy's. Five nights. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. One. Ah, ah. Still there. That's good. Good to know. Stay there. You terrifying friggin' thing. Okay, Chica's still there. You still there, Bonnie? Yeah, you're still there. Good girl. Stay there. What's that noise? Hi! Um... What did I do? Um. Um. Oh shit. I don't know what that means. Put on the mask. Whew. Okay. She goes out. But. Whew. No! <sighs> this thing terrifies me every time. Where are they? Oh! She's coming in the vent. Stay away from that goddamn vent. Hey! Oh, she's in the vent. She's in the vent. Oh, goddamn controls! Hi! Hi, scary ass chica! You're very scary. You're very, very scary. Oh shit. Ah, they're both in the vents. They're both in the vents. They're both in the vents. I'm gonna die. No. Go away, go away. Oh. Okay, what do I do? Just stay like this? Ah. Ah. No, no, no. Go away. I'm gonna die. Go! Go! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <sighs> Go away. Go away.
啊。Wasn't so bad. <sighs> Second night, I think that's a good spot to cut it there. I don't know why anyone the hell would go back for a second night. So I think I'm gonna call it there, and um, how do I exit? No, oh, I think exit the game. Oh crap. But like I said, I'll call it there, and I'll get my heart rate raising next time. Um, hope you join me in the next another couple of days when I put another video of this, and we'll try out night two. I don't think my heart can handle in there. Night <laughs> this, I may not look it, but I'm sweating. My heart's racing. <laughs> I don't know if it was as terrifying as the first game because I didn't know what was coming, but man. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you check out my other videos like Siberia or uh, Spin Tires or one of my others. Uh, I usually put out videos on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Sometimes, on a special occasion, I put out videos on other occasions. I just come back from a long absence, so. Um, I'll just start getting into it again, but uh, there should be another video out on Saturday. And until then, I hope you enjoy what you've been seeing, and I hope you catch me in the next one. Bye bye! So, what do you think of that? I thought it was pretty darn neat. I gotta try to remember how the interface works. Welcome to Vela de Lan. Vela de Lan. Vela de. Uh, Canadian, I can't even suffer my way through French. The world capital of mechanical toys. Unequal savoir faire. For later years, the Vorverg family has passed this knowledge from generation to generation. Okay. I'm not going to read all of that. So if you want to read it, hopefully the resolution is high enough so that you can see it. So you can pause. But there's quite a bit of it. Go back to the 13th century. Hermann Vorberg, renowned, was recognized even in the court of Europe. Charles Vorberg, one of his creations. They're a creepy creation, too. Well, that's the general feel I think I get from the the funeral too. It's kind of creepy, but kind of cool too. Austere, I guess you could say. And this that was definitely not my saves in the old file there. That was my brother's or somebody's. Because the first time I played this game, be feeling at a wider range. Let's try some bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. Fuel away. Oh, oh god. If I don't do this right, I'm just gonna flip over and roll down there. Okay, I'm gonna cut the tires really sharply. I back up a bit and cut the tires really sharply. I should be able to do this perfectly fine. Probably better if I uh, attach to the other tree there. Or I won't be able to get down far enough and then I'll just be hopelessly stuck. I won't be able to move forward and I won't be able to move back. Well, I guess I'll be able to move forward. Gravity will take me forward, that's for certain. 
Gravity is our mistress, they say. Okay, this looks good. That was bungee jumping. Of course, there's a parking bay. Bungee jumping time. Whoop. Oh gosh, the crap. Oh, ho, ho. God damn it. Here's a fuel for you, sir. Woohoo! It worked! It worked! Oh, I'm so certain that flipping over then would have not let me refuel my truck. Oh, thank God. Of course, I can't start it. And I can't use the winch to pull myself back up, so I'm in the way of getting that truck back up. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come along one day in these woods and find this truck tethered to this tree. What the heck happened here? Now I have lots of damage on this truck too. Oh, bugger. You see this? I once had a log. And I no longer have one because it's sunk in the mud. <laughs> 